Okay, so this is uh, part two of this Elements of Design project. Uh, remember, these are each worth two points. So you should have finished 20 Shapes FL for two points. Put that on your graphics page in Web Starts. Uh, now we're going to focus on the 20 Brushes FL. Uh, I'm going to show you the brush panel. Uh, we're going to review again the, the basic drawing tools just real quick. And then I want you to take about 20 minutes to complete a quick paint, uh, a quick painting uh, that you uh, that you do with brushes, some scene or some something. Again, always remembering uh, that a picture is worth a thousand words. So give me a a picture and that I could tell a story with. Okay. Um, Let me just minimize that. We're going to go to Illustrator. Doing this in Illustrator. And File New. Print. Letter. 20. Brushes, FL, inches, create. Keep those swatches out because we still use them. Remember, whatever is in the stroke is going to be what you paint. It's on the brush. And it includes patterns from those swatches from that swatch library. Remember those? Wonderful, wonderful animal skin patterns. Yeah, let's get those. Let's get those. Let's get those pulled out from the swatch panel. Close the swatch panel. It'll give us uh, some cool stuff to paint. Uh, besides our color swatch, right? Our color spectrum, right? Hold down. We got to get stroke on top. So X on the keyboard. We'll get the stroke on top. And uh, and we can go ahead and set a color for our brush. Start with a color. Get a bright red so you can see it. And I'm going to go to the brush tool. Brush tool or B. B for brush on the keyboard. Uh, so there we go. I can increase the brush size. All right? By going up or down. That point size there, right? I can uh, also change the brush. Go into this brush panel right here. It's the brush library. So it just has a few brushes here, but I got a lot more right here. So if I go uh, and look at maybe some of these artistic brushes. Drag this down. Move this over here, let's say. Put down a little. So I got colors, brushes, swatches, or patterns, I should say. Uh, just so I could show you, because I know you're dying to see it. Let's paint with zebra. Yeah, zebra. That's cool. Make it thicker. Yeah, we like that. And of course, you can use the selection tool, select it, change your mind, and make it Jaguar, or change your mind again, and maybe try one of these cool patterns, right? Or change your mind and go with color. It's your choice. Once you select it, you can change it around. Uh, and of course, you could rotate it. You can resize it. And you can move it. Okay. And you can change its general shape as well. All right. So uh, let's play around some of these brushes. Uh, these would be interesting to use when you have the tablet and the pen. Because I got a feeling if you angle it and put pressure on it, you can get some of these different uh, calligraphic, calligraphic calligraphic pen tips or brush tips. I just clicked on one and it looks like that. But anyways, um, 
But let's go through some of these. Just kind of click through. You got arrows, all these arrows. Uh, there are the charcoal brush that we were using, the charcoal brushes for our wave. There's some ink. Some ink. Let me click out of that. Get back to the brush tool. All right. Some ink brushes there. There's a lot of brushes. Uh, since we're make, mainly focusing on brushes, we'll make that put that right here. Okay. Come on there. Oh, there's so many. So many. Uh, I'm gonna change the color of the brush. Go with the blue. And uh, let's look at ink splats. Ink splats. Oh, that's cool. See where I went for that? Ink splats. Splat. 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 I'm flinging the brush at the paper. We're running the brush around. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play. You should too. This is fun stuff. Scroll brushes. Oops, I pick one. Scroll brushes and watercolors. Let me command A delete. It's getting a lot of stuff there. Uh, some of these watercolor. Here's a blended watercolor. Change the color to a light blue. Change the color to a red. Okay, different different brushes. Endless supply of brushes here. Uh, then they've got some uh, kind of cool decorative brushes as well. And uh, actually some of these are really, really cool. Uh, borders, if you want to use these for borders, frames and borders of your document. Right. To do that, uh, what I would do, Command A, delete. I would use the rectangle tool. I would go ahead and draw a rectangle. That is pretty much the full size of the image area, and then make sure it's selected with the selection tool, uh, and start clicking on some of these different frames and once you get it the one you like you kind of just correct it a little bit right just kind of play around with it move it get it into place a little and then do your painting with your brushes with the B for brush uh, that way so uh, marching antro here's our here's a marching antro oh aha command Z and you click out, the selection tool, deselect just by clicking out. And B for brush, get back to that brush. Click on the ants and make an ant trail. Yes. Uh, make a film strip. Yes. Uh, what else? Okay. Just keep scrolling through here. So many cool things. Uh, now we're getting to more brushes, more more. Bristle brushes, paint different types of paint brushes. So much stuff. I want you to spend time looking at this. Banners. Banners. Okay. Decorative scatter. Really, really like this. Really, really like this. There's confetti. Uh, I got to do a command A and delete. Oops. Cancel. And you got to see this. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you... Bubbles, my favorite bubbles. I love the bubbles. Look at that. Oh my God. I'm just going to keep painting bubbles. I'm done trying to show you guys anymore because after bubbles, what else is better? What's better than bubbles, huh? What is better than that? Um, okay, well, maybe stars. Okay, that's better. Um, anyway, you can see. There's a lot of things to do with this. Uh, and you just need time to play with it now. Just go through these 
goes through the, all these different brushes, okay? Uh, and again, if you come down here, uh, they're all right there. So those decorative brushes are where we found those pretty cool designs that we're at right now. Right image, vector packs, all that. It's all right in here. So enjoy this. I want you to spend the t spend your time painting uh, some kind of scene, some some kind of story. Make a picture that again you can tell a story uh, with. All right. When you're done, Command S to save it in your Documents folder, and click OK. And when you're ready to export it, File, Export. Let's try that again. File, Export. Save for the Web Legacy, JPEG High. Set the width to 250. And save it a couple of times. Save, 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 save. Make sure 20 brushes have fell. Documents. Click save. And now we go to Web Starts. Come on now. Don't, don't stop working on me now. There we go. Web starts. And log in. And edit site. Go to your graphics page. And you got your AI lines, your 20 shapes. So right here, why don't we put our our 20 brushes? That's not 20 shapes. But anyways, that was just the demo. Insert, image, upload, documents, 20 brushes, dot JPEG, open. And load her on in there. Get her on. Get her done. Uh, do not change the shape. Uh, then we want to label it. Do, 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 do. Make sure you label everything. So if there's stuff you haven't labeled, after you do this, go label that. Twenty brushes. And then your initials and click out, click back. Uh, actually, let's make it smaller. Let's go with font size of 24. Click out, click back, and create slide your do a tight wrap on your text box so that it doesn't overlap onto other projects, blocking it mysteriously because it's invisible from you being able to do anything with it when you click on it. All right, so then save. And you are done, ready to go on to the final project, which is 20 Symbols FL.